Hi. 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 We don't mean to interrupt. We, we live across the hall. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, I, we don't live together. I mean, we live together, but in separate heterosexual bedrooms. Oh, okay, well, guess I'm your new neighbor, Penny. Oh, Leonard, Sheldon. Hi. 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 Uh, well, uh, oh, welcome to the building. Oh, thank you. Maybe we can have coffee sometime. Oh, great. 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 <laughs> well, uh, bye. 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 So, Stephanie, here's the thing. I really like you. Oh, God, here comes the speech. <laughs> what speech? I really like you, but maybe we should spend a little less time together, because I need my space. But I'll call you on Tuesday, and then you never call me, so I call you, but you don't call me back. And then when I run into you at the coffee shop, you pretend like you've been having problems with your voicemail, and I know that you're lying, but I pretend like I don't care, <laughs> even though I'm dying inside. <laughs> No, no, uh, I wasn't going to say any of that. I, I was just going to say, I really like you. <laughs> oh, good. Because I really like you, too. <sighs> Terrific. Well, who wants to stay in a hotel with windows that don't open, those crazy card-shaped keys? I'm so glad you understand. Uh, no, he doesn't understand. I understand. Well, I understand, too. You're just misappropriating my understanding. <laughs> I think any university would want you, except, of course, any university that had already had you, because uh, they would have already wanted you before they, you know, got you. <laughs> from the mind that brought you high-low. <laughs> Let me show you to your room. All right. I guess I am tired. Good night, Leonard. Uh, sleep night. I mean, obviously, good night. I started to say sleep tight, and then I changed my mind in the middle. I swear to God, I'm smart. <laughs> get it together, man. OK, well, I guess I should get dressed so I can take everyone to work. You and Sheldon and Sheldon's friend, Dr. Plimpton, who you just met. It'd be fun. Like a clown car. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm? Yeah, what, huh? We just broke up. Well, uh, you and me? Yeah, we did, not too long ago. How are you doing with it? I'm not as good as you, apparently. I, I'm, I don't follow. You know what? It's none of my business. If you want to sleep with Sheldon's doctor buddy right after we stop seeing each other, go for it. Well, no. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with you recommending that Leonard pursue having intercourse with Dr. Plimpton, who I assure you has better things to do. I'm not recommending it. I'm saying it already happened. Oh, that's preposterous. Tell her, Leonard. Well. <laughs> of course, we're in different departments. He's an engineer and I'm an experimental physicist. You know, one of those guys who examines the building blocks of creation and says, hello, maker of the universe. I see what you did there. Good one. Right. Now, how would you characterize your relationship with Mr. Wallowitz? Good. It's a good relationship. Of course, most of my relationships are good. You know, probably because I exude confidence. People are drawn to that, you know? Confidence, not exuding. Do you know of any groups Mr. Wallowitz is a member of? You are beautiful, you know that? You pop, sparkle, and buzz electric. I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Show you a night you will never forget. Sounds great. Really? Yeah. Can my six-foot-two Navy SEAL husband come with us? Is that, oh, my, I didn't see the ring with my glasses off, so. Look at that, I'm starting to exude. <laughs> Wanna get that? Not particularly. 
Could you get that? I suppose I could if I were asked. <laughs> Would you please get that? Of course. <laughs> Why do you have to make things so complicated? Dr. Cooper. Yes? I'm Special Agent Page, FBI. I why she didn't tell me. Have you been spending time with your ex-girlfriend? No. <laughs> then why are you surprised she didn't tell you? Well, uh, it's not as much a surprise as, uh, 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 you, you know, uh, the, the, the other thing. What other thing? Well, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if you, uh... <laughs> I don't, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not gonna help you, this is hilarious. <laughs> wait, wait, why don't I like the lingerie you got me? Because it's orange and you think it makes you look like a slutty carrot. <laughs> Interesting, I never told you that. Sure you did. No, I never told anyone that. But I did write it in my journal. Oh. What? <laughs> You had a journal? I also know your voice gets higher when you're lying. No, it doesn't. Some of this? And since it's Thanksgiving, an extra helping of this? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the email you sent me last night. I sent you an email? You bet you did. <laughs> Hello. Shalom and aloha from the grave of Richard Feynman. Oh, it's coming back to me. Please accept the following retraction. I know I said physics is dead, but it is the opposite of dead. If anything, it is undead, like a zombie. <laughs> Speaking of which, if Richard Feynman came back as a zombie, I would totally let him bite me. Any chance that's the end? I got bit by a squirrel once. <laughs> I had to get rabies shots. I cried so much. My mother said, don't be a baby. In conclusion, physics is great. Squirrels suck, and someday, I'm gonna put my mom in a cheap nursing home. <laughs> Yours truly, XOXO, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. No, I, I can explain. I... P.S. <laughs> can you come pick us up? The Uber driver won't open the door because Sheldon is covered in blue vomit. <laughs>